Hello from Malaysia. We're in a new city again today. We took a five hour long bus yesterday from Ipoh and now we're in Malacca. Like most other places in Malaysia, Malacca is packed full of history. This place has seen some serious colonial changes of leadership over the centuries. It's been run by the Malay, obviously, Chinese, Dutch, Portuguese, English, like you name it. There's been a war here and it's been pretty crazy. So the history here is really rich. That also means that the architecture is really amazing to see. So that's always fun to tour around. And then of course, we've got great food here, great street art, and probably a lot of other things. This temple is unusual because it says shoes are allowed. I don't understand why. Nothing zooms through here. This is the main tourist area of Malacca centered on this river. It's a really beautiful river walk. We walked a bit on it last night and it was just jam packed with people. I feel like it's the most tourists we've seen in Malaysia. It's really beautiful just to walk up and down the riverfront. We're in an area right now called the Red Square or the Dutch Square. This area has a lot of buildings dating back to the Dutch colonial period. We're gonna see if we can go inside some of the buildings. We've been in a lot of Hindu temples, Buddhist temples, mosques, but we have yet to be in a church. Built by the Dutch in 1753 to commemorate the centenary of their occupation of Malacca. Chiming. I thought the red square was just that area with like the fountain and the church, but no, it is a huge complex. There's so much to do and see here, so many buildings. Perfect photo op in front of this ancient fort. So this area we're gonna go into is Porta de Santiago, into the Portuguese fortress of Afamosa. It was constructed in 1512.
This is apparently the oldest church in Southeast Asia. I think it said 1511 or 1517 or something like that. These are very well preserved, wow. 1660? That is quite the view. I don't recommend going in there. It has definitely been a toilet at some point in its history. <laughs> oh, it's not. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's not, it's probably in a very recent history. We think that we have now seen most of the things in the Red Fort now, but that's not certain. This place is huge. Look at this building. That looks amazing. It's a hotel? Okay, it's not a hotel. It's the Malacca Sultanate Palace Museum. We'll be going in there. Alright, 20 ringgit. Malaysian architecture is so cool. Carved wood is so cool. I love looking at it. I'm actually not 100% positive that this is an authentic building. I think it might just be a reconstruction of the palace after all, but I don't know. It just seems so perfect. Yes, it is indeed a replica. Let's get on one of those river boats. Shall we attempt to get ferry tickets? The parking job. <laughs> it's rare that you're impressed with a parking job on a boat. <laughs> Ooh, 
Well, that was pleasant. That ferry is one of the major tourist things to do when in Malacca. You know what, they're always fun to do, just the boat ride through the city. They're really scenic. We actually found out that there's way more down the boardwalk than we had realized. We took a walk down there last night, barely scratched the surface of the distance we could have gone. There's way more street art, way more restaurants to see. Probably tomorrow we're gonna take a walk down that way a little bit further. So that was about a 30 minute boat ride and it was also 30 ring at each. All right. Yeah. I'm ready to try. Okay. I mean, I don't need a lot of bites anyway. Yeah. I've never had a quail egg before. I've had them before. I'm being honest. Doesn't, I wouldn't know the difference. Yeah. They are big. I think a fried egg would have been amazing. A breakfast skewer? Well, I'm sure it's an octopus tentacle. This is going to be amazing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wow, that, that was scratching. Really chewy. Lots of meat. Tasty. Just a pure muscle, yeah. yeah. This thing is no joke. Oh, wow. mm. Not recommended for old people, huh? It's a battle. It's all over my face. That was an awesome day in Malacca. I knew I was gonna like it here, like when I was booking the trip. But uh, I feel like the moment that we arrived, we both kind of just thought this is going to be a great place in Malaysia. That's so true, hey? Some places you get a vibe the moment you get off the plane or get off the bus it's, or whatever. Yeah. So yeah, we just knew we were going to like this place and so far it is exceeding those expectations. So that's fantastic. We've seen some great street art. We've seen some really interesting historical buildings. That street market is fascinating as well. There's so many crazy things there. Although the food that we tried wasn't anything outlandish, I thought it was okay. But now we're on our way to get probably some Indian food because that's turned into our favorite thing to eat here. We've got so much more planned. There's a lot to do and see here. So looking forward to seeing the rest of it. <laughs> 